More than a third of students at Claremont High School stayed home today after a campus threat. There is increased security on campus at Indian Hill Boulevard. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict shows us what's being done to keep everyone safe. School started as usual at Claremont High, but the chatter among students was anything but normal. If it's a prank, just you know, that's not a good prank. Ninth grader Muhammad Al Muazan is talking about a threat written on a wall in the boys' bathroom yesterday, stating there would be a gun on campus today. The school shootings have happened in the past, but I'm not really worried. He says that's because the school's principal sent out an email and left two voicemails discussing the threat and the extra security today to keep kids safe, information that calmed his concerns and his mother's. I think that if the police had not been sent out, then she wouldn't have uh, sent me. And as parents dropped their children off, they echoed that same sentiment. We allowed our children to make the decision whether they wanted to come to school or not. My son said yes, my daughter said no. Police say the threat was discovered by a staff member, and although it mentions a gun, it does not mention a shooting or even possible victims. There's no target, specific target. It was just kind of random graffiti. Administrators tell me there are four police officers on campus today, as well as extra adults, extra administrators, everyone just looking out, just in case. We just wanted to go on as business as usual, but also to take the precautions necessary. And unfortunately, in this day and age, parents say threats of violence are business as usual. So some saw this incident as a teaching moment. We talked to both of them about what would happen if there was a situation. What would they do? A good lesson for these students. I think we are taking things more seriously, and that's a great thing. But of course, everyone here wishes these precautions and this lesson didn't have to happen at all. Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.